Today I'm going to show you how to make an angel wings memory ornament. This is part of our 25 days of ornament sewing patterns. You can personalize the ornament or even use a loved one's clothing item to make them instead of purchasing fabric. The printable pattern pieces are in a link below in the description box or if you're watching from my website alohasewingcompany.com, welcome and sew along. Here are the materials that I'm using. You're gonna cut two wings, and if you wanna add a heart, I like to use felt for my heart because the fabric doesn't fray, and you only need to cut one. You also need a piece of ribbon, twine, yarn, whatever you wanna use for your hanging loop for your ornament. And for our ornaments, you can screenshot this or take a picture of this if you want to. You can use a variety of materials. Let your creative juices flow. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you wanna do is add your ribbon or whatever you're using, the, the thinner the width, the better, um, and go ahead and crisscross it where the raw edges are at the top, and you're going to place it overlapping the very middle of one of your angel wings with the angel wings right side facing up. Go ahead and baste it, sewing just close to the edge just to hold this in place. You can see I stayed right close to the edge. The next thing we wanna do is position our hanging loop kind of towards the middle of the right side of your wing and you're gonna pin that down. We're doing this so that way when we're sewing this angel wing together, we don't catch the hanging loop in our seam allowance. Make sure the ball or the top of your pin is towards the right and that's important. Now you're going to get the other part of your angel wings with the right side facing down and put it right on top so that we sandwich all these pieces together. Then you're gonna go ahead and pin or clip all the way around and on the side, I go ahead and pin or clip along the flat side about one and a half to two inches so that way I remember not to sew this area right here. Now let's take this to the sewing machine and starting at the bottom clip here, Go ahead and sew all the way around using about a 1 4th inch seam allowance and leaving that opening not sewn. Here's how I sew mine. I go ahead and start on the flat straight side, back stitch at the beginning and the end, and then we're gonna go ahead and sew all the way around. I would suggest using a short stitch for this to help you go around the curves, and when you get to points that you need to rotate your fabric, make sure the needle's in the fabric, lift your presser foot, rotate your fabric, and then continue sewing. You can do this around curves if you need to, around any uh, points and stuff like that, and just sew slowly. When you get to the middle part of your ornament, make sure you stay close to the edge, like I'm gonna do right here, because when we go to turn this right side out, getting it through that middle part of your angel wing ornament can be tricky if you don't allow enough space in that area that's not sewn. Here is mine sewn. You can see I used about a quarter of an inch seam allowance and I did not close that whole opening right here. Now the reason you wanted to put that pin right here with the end of the pin facing out is so that you can go ahead and pull that pin out through the whole opening. That way when we're going to flip it right side out in a minute it won't get you. If you don't have pinking shears, I highly recommend them. We're gonna cut all the way around this ornament, but don't cut around that whole opening because you need a little bit of extra fabric there. And make sure you clip all of your corners nicely. So that way when we flip this right side out, our fabric doesn't pucker around those curves and those corners. So cut inside the corners and cut all the way around your ornament. If you are making a lot of ornaments or several, pinking shears are the best to use because you just cut them all the way around instead of cutting a bunch of slits all the way around all the curves of your fabric. 
If you're using regular scissors, go ahead and just cut slits all the way around any of the curves, the points, and the corners of your fabric. Now we're gonna flip this right side out. I start with this bottom corner here, and it is very tricky to get through this middle piece, so just be careful when you're doing that and work it however you need to to get it through. Once you have it flipped right side out, I like to go in with a chopstick or any other tool that you might have that you can go in and smoothen out all of your seams and poke out all of your corners. Make sure you don't do this too hard because you will poke right through your stitches if you're not careful. Once you have all of your seams laying nice and flat and your corners poked out, we need to close this whole opening. So we're gonna push the fabric inward so that it's flush with the rest of the fabric on the outside. And then I like to give it a nice press with my iron to hold that in place. It's also time to get all these wrinkles out as well. Before you close this, you can fill it with polyfill stuffing if you want to. So that way it gives a little structure to your ornament. Here is the heart that's going in the middle. I'm just gonna place a little bit of hot glue and put it right here. You can also use a few stitches if you want to, just right in the middle of the heart to hold it in place. And to close that opening on the side, you can either put a little dot of hot glue, you can top stitch around the entire thing, or you can hand sew it closed using a blind ladder stitch. Use whatever embellishments you want to all the way around this. You can personalize it and make it however you would like to for your loved ones. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun sewing along with me. Please, please, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see all of our easy sewing patterns as they're released. Visit alohasewingcompany.com or the link is down below in the description box on YouTube to see all of our super easy sewing patterns that you can print at home so you can start to sew faster. We make sewing patterns for literally everything from baby items, kids clothes, decorations, holiday stuff and gifts, bags and more. And before you go, mahalo.